Thanks for checking out my Wix tutorial. Here I'm going to be showing you how to build a Wix website for free in 10 minutes. I'm not big on introductions, so let's get right on into it. All right, so when you're on your main dashboard, where you're going to be here is under all sites right here, and you can do go to all sites. Now, what you want to do is click on create new website. If you don't have any, there's not going to be any here, but if you do, you might see a few. So click right here. So this is going to be the spot where you can bring your ideas to life with AI. In my opinion, it's actually much quicker to do it without because the templates are actually pretty good. So with this, we're just going to click on set up without chat. All right, and what type of website do you want to create? Obviously put something that's going to be related to what you're doing. In this example, I'm going to be doing a portfolio because I know a lot of people can use them, especially maybe if you're selling something, if you've made a lot of sales in the past, if you're doing client work, there's just a lot of great ways to showcase what you've done and just kind of show off your expertise. So I'm going to click on portfolio right here. And if you want to get a little bit more specific for this, I'm going to do something, say, like social media related video portfolio could work. Let's see what else we have. Maybe we can do marketing portfolio. Portfolio. There we go. Marketing portfolio. Perfect. Obviously, choose what you're going to be doing. I'm obviously doing a marketing portfolio in this example. All right, so what would you like to call your website? Make sure you put an appropriate, let's see, Marketing Island Social. I'm just gonna do that as my example. Seeing I'm Marketing Island here, put your name there, click on Continue button down at the bottom right. All right, and so here we're gonna choose the apps that we'd like to add. The portfolio is already going to be built in, so that's fantastic. If you wanna add anything else you can, I'm not going to, I wanna keep it as lean and mean as possible, but just keep in mind you can add them later if needed. So I'm gonna keep it just on this and click on continue. All right, we're all set, let's continue to the dashboard. All right, and so all we need to do is simply click on design site at the top right, right here. All right, so we have a fork in the road. On the left, we choose a template. On the right, we design with AI. In my opinion, the AI isn't all that great. Let's customize the template because I think the templates look fantastic. Let's click right here. All right, and given the fact that we typed in marketing portfolio, that's why it's important to kind of give it some type of match. This one right here, I already love clean, simple, basic, a few pages that we can use to showcase our expertise or anything that we are having to offer, but just to kind of showcase if there's anything else you wanted to take a look at, like very simple and straightforward, you can always view them right here. And of course, if you want to edit it, you can do that. There's plenty of pages. And of course, you can choose from these specific sections if needed, or you can just simply type it in to get a much finer choice at what you want to pick. However, this best match right here looks fantastic, so I'm not gonna even view it. I'm just gonna click on the edit button right here. So find one that you wanna edit around. You could just use this one if you want, or if you wanna choose a different one, that's gonna be up to you. All right, and here's gonna talk about how you can enhance your AI content. In my opinion, if you know yourself the best, you're probably not gonna to need to do this. So for this, I'm just gonna click on X right here. I don't think it's uh, essential that we do that. Okay, so here is going to be the editor. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do the top, we're gonna to do the bottom because those are pretty much gonna be sticky to whatever page we're using. And then we can edit the middle and some of the pages. So let's click up on top. So you wanna hover over and do quick edit. Now for this, this is gonna be a vector art. So if we wanna change this, we can only use something that is going to be a vector art, unfortunately there, but there's gonna be some shapes we can do. I think there's a hashtag that I like, which is kind of related to social media. So I'm gonna use that one. I'm gonna do add to page. Okay, now aside from that, we have our paragraph right here. We wanna change this. So we could say this is marketing island and editor. I'm gonna click right here. We have a social media content creator. So that's gonna be that section right there. We also have the menu that's gonna look fine. So I'm gonna keep that as it is. Let's go down to the bottom now. So we have our phone number, right? Just phone, add that in. We have our email, click there, and you can obviously add that in as well. When it comes to following me, we have some social bars right here. So what we can do is click on here for set links. And if we wanna add a different one, we can go to add icons. Let's say we wanted to do YouTube. Do you have YouTube here? I hope they have YouTube. Perfect, let's go with this one. Let's do add to gallery. And let's say we don't wanna use any of these. Let's just say we wanted to use one. You can obviously add TikTok and all that and so on and so forth. Let's do done right here. And what we wanna do now is click on set links. 
All right, and what we wanna do here is add our link. So I'm gonna click there. Where is this going to go? I'm gonna paste in my YouTube channel. We wanna do a new window so they open up in a new one. They can always come back and browse your website. Let's do okay. Let's do done. And that's how you can simply add that in if you wanna edit any more socials. Just change around the icons and the links. Powered by, of course, maybe you could do by your brand name, by you. Let's just do marketing island, something like that. Obviously, you know, set that up to your liking. So that's the header and the footer, very easy to do. I have now clicked in the middle section here, so we have our section background. We also have an image, so I'm gonna click change right here. And if you wanna upload media, you click right here and do simply upload from computer. All right, so that's gonna be the file right there. I'm gonna do choose image. And just like that, you're gonna notice it has changed. However, it's gonna be maybe a little bit towards the top, so we can kind of crop it around and play around with it. So what we can do is click on adjust right here. And for the crop and extend, let's say I wanna move it up a little bit higher there and maybe here so there's not so much on the top. And let's do save like this. And you just uh, move down ever so slightly. So if you want to play around with that a little bit more, you can just to kind of have the head move down. Okay, so now we have image behaviors. If clicked on it, nothing happens. What's the image? That looks fine right there. And now we have the text like, hello, a little bit about me. I'm not gonna go through any time there is text here and kind of say like exactly what you should put. Obviously, you know your website, what you're all about. How can you help others? What expertise do you provide? That's gonna be right there. We also have our resume, our projects, and our contact. Those are gonna be the big sections. So I'm gonna show you how to edit those now. Let's move on to that. Also, if you ever notice how the screen is really big, what you can do is just click right here, zoom out to 50, and now you can see much more so you can see the entire website like that. Okay, so now what we wanna do is go on over to the section right here with pages and menu. Let's click there. Now you're gonna see this is the home. Now we're gonna click on the resume. Let's give it a second to load. Perfect. Once again, very simple to do. If we have our edit right here, we can click here. This is going to be a paragraph. Make sure you just type in, change it around. I don't think I need to, you know, really help too much with this. We have skills and expertise. We have education and of course, work experience. This is really about clicking on each section and changing it around. Pretty straightforward, right? Okay. So then we want to go back over here, pages and menu again. Let's go to projects next. Okay, so project name, what are some of the biggest things you've worked on? If you wanted to change this once again specifically, you can click on the image, you can do change image. I showed you how to upload it, it would be the same exact thing here. And of course, this is gonna be the section where we have more text. What's a big project name you've done? Maybe it's not even a project, maybe it's a product, okay? This could be one of your products here, this could be another product, and so on and so forth. Or maybe a case study, depending on what you're doing with your website, right? I'm thinking more marketing with case studies, but you know, you can be very flexible with this and always change it around okay next what we want to do is go to once again pages and menu let's go to the next one we have contact this is going to be very straightforward all right so this is going to be the contact section very straightforward you don't even need to use a form in fact you can make it as simple as possible i'd probably just not even use this so you can go over that and click on backspace and it's going to delete okay so that's not going to be there this is going to be the contact and it's going to be the same thing that's at the bottom just to make your life easier just another spot in case people want to find it that way okay like I said, 10 minutes, don't wanna to go too long, but I do wanna be quick at the same time. So last but not least, let's go to pages. This is gonna be the last step with our portfolio. Okay, so this is where you get to showcase any type of work you've done, products, whatever it may be. Once again, case studies for an example. What we can do is click on right here, and then what we wanna do is manage projects. All right, so let's set up your portfolio with AI. In my opinion, I don't like doing it because if you put a bunch, say, as an example, I'm gonna put some thumbnails, it's gonna describe it in a way that I probably don't wanna use. So I'm gonna do set up without AI. All right, so as an example, let's do add project. We can always delete these later. If you're curious about how to do it, you can go right here and just do delete because clearly these are just example ones that come with the website, right? So let's do add project. All right, so as an example, let's just say these are gonna be some thumbnails I have created. I'm gonna do next description. All right, so here are some thumbnails that I have created for software review videos. Let's click on next. All right, and for this, I just put thumbnails, date 2025. And for this, I'm just going to put Florida. And let's upload some media from our computer. Once again, let's do this. 
All right, and so I have five different uploads that I just added to it, as you can see. Now, what you can do is always drag them around to choose where they're going to be going. And also, if you want one to be the cover, as you can see, the cover is going to be right there. We can click, say, on this one, and we can do set as cover. Okay, alt text if you want to do that. Uh, overall, not a whole lot going on when it comes to changing around and editing them. It's more about like the positions that they're going to be in. Okay, so let's do done. It says upload images. We have done that. Let's do done once again. All right, great. So that project is now in our portfolio. I'm going to X out of this. And as you can see, it's now going to be there. I'm going to keep these in here just so you can see what they look like along with the other one. Now let's go back over here and click on X. All right, and what I want to do is just very quickly save it right here. And we can finally go back to the pages. All right, and I just went back to the home section and we're pretty much done. I know obviously you have to enter in a lot of the information when it comes to the paragraphs and text, but let's actually preview it right now. So I'm gonna click on preview. All right, so we are now in the preview menu, but I like it, it's clean, it's simple. There's not a whole lot going on here. I'd probably change around a little bit more of the colors, you know, if I needed to, or for this, maybe make this move it up a little higher, move this up a little bit higher, but we have all of our important information down there, but these are gonna be the main aspects, right? So if we click on resume right here, you're gonna see this, and this is quite simple to edit, which is why it's still pretty bland. We have our projects. Okay, these would be the projects or the products or the case studies. You can do a, a wide variety of things here. We have contact, which is about as plain Jane as possible, but not a big deal, you know, as long as you give them what they're looking for so they can reach out to you. And last but not least, we have our portfolio. And for this, we just did one example with some of the YouTube thumbnails. So I'm going to click right here. Here are some thumbnails that I have created for software review videos. Obviously, you can make that probably a little bit better just to kind of showcase what they do. And that, my friend, is going to conclude this Wix tutorial. So I hope you got some value out of this and I hope it wasn't too long. As I talked about previously, this would be much faster if I wasn't kind of explaining a lot of the things. And of course, there's gonna be a little bit more work that you need to do when it comes to explaining who you are, the value that you provide, and just kind of working on your timeline of what you've done. But ultimately, this should help you build a Wix website for free in around 10 minutes. And if you have any questions, you can feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out. Last but not least, if you got any value out of this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a ton. And if you made it all the way to the end, a virtual high five for you. I will leave a link for a free gift down in the description that can help with building and growing your digital business, if that's what you're into, of course. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching this Wix tutorial and I'll see you in my next video.